Hi, this is Pastor Rick. I want to talk to you about a very important topic today, and the topic is about um, money, credit, and um, co-signing for other people. You and I both have probably been in a situation where someone needed help, and um, I'm going to talk to you today after I read this scripture about some things that we need to remember. One of them is what the scripture says in Proverbs chapter 6 it says my son if thou be surety that means a cosigner for thy friend if thou hast stricken thy hand with a stranger thou art snared with the words of thy mouth thou art taken with the words of thy mouth do this now my son and deliver my, thyself when thou art come into the hand of thy friend go humble thyself and make sure thy friend do not sleep to, to thine eyes nor slumber to thine eyelids. Deliver thyself as a roe from the hand of the hunter, and as a bird from the hand of the fowler. Go to the ant, thou sluggard, and consider her ways, and be wise." So um, one of the things that we are responsible to do is when someone, especially a fellow Christian, comes to us and they need help, uh, it is certainly appropriate for us to help them both with prayer or prayer and with counsel and with food or some cash assistance if they need it. My rule that I use is when someone comes to me and they need help, I try to be specifically helpful and also I give the money as a gift to them. I don't want anything, especially money, to ever come between me and another, another person, especially a fellow Christian. I don't want it to happen. So if I cannot afford to do that, I just have to say I can't help. But God has blessed me. We're usually able to help someone somewhat, and, and that's one part. The second thing is when you become a co-signer for someone else, in a way you may think you're helping them, but actually you're enabling them because you're teaching them that they don't have to establish their own credit. You have it for them. And when they can't get credit for something that they need to buy, like replace their car or fix their engine or fix replace tires or something, um, they're, they're not in a position, they haven't put themselves in a place where they're even able to take care of routine maintenance or, or what's needed in that area. So you're not really helping people if you are often uh, bailing them out and helping them to learn that they don't have to take responsibility. I know all of us have got children or friends that get themselves into a fix and sometimes it's of no fault of their own. Situations come up, especially severe uh, health crises and it is overwhelming and probably would overwhelm all of us. But when those things come up, I'm not talking about that, these extreme cases where we all just come together and help somebody. I'm talking about the routine requests for money and then for money again and for money again <laughs> and every time they need something you have to co-sign for them. It's not a good idea. What we are responsible to do is to help what we can but to teach other people to become responsible. What happens when we're not there? What happens when granddad or dad isn't there to help uh, the next time they need assistance? We need to teach our children and grandchildren and our friends the, how to become responsible and take care of themselves. Um, when, when our daughter was younger, I can remember one time um, she was talking to us, giving us some financial advice, and she said, Dad, uh, don't use money, use a credit card or write a check. <laughs> and. And I thought, sometimes young people just don't understand the realities of finance or credit or how to use a credit card or uh, how to write checks and so forth. So our job is to teach them. It is good to help people learn how to establish a good credit history. And you know why that's important, so someday they can take care of themselves. Well. It says if you have already done this and you're already co-signed, the Bible tells us we're supposed to go to that person and ask to get relieved from that obligation. Here's what can happen and it's terrible. Let's say they are not able to make their payments and you've co-signed. Now you are responsible for the debt that they took on. And what can happen is resentment and 
damage to the relationship you have with your family member or a friend. None of us wants to damage your relationship over money or any material things, right? So I'm telling you these things because I want to protect relationships that each of us has with our loved ones. God bless you. Have a great day.